rock, paper, scissors, shoot, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Hello, everybody. I hope you all have had a spectacular weekend, and we're so excited to learn about Jesus with you today. I'm Teacher Gabby. And I'm Teacher Grace. And we're going to start in a word of prayer. So bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for this day and for this amazing time you get to spend learning about you. I pray that you help us to listen to our story, enjoy our worship, and have a super fun craft. We ask this all in your precious name. And everybody says, Amen! Hey kids, so before we start our worship and lesson, let's get all those wiggles out. And today, we have a fun animal rhyme that will help us do that. Are you ready, Teacher Gabby? I'm ready, Teacher Grace. Let's go! Slither like a snake, hop like a bunny, swing your trunk like an elephant, cause it's really funny. Flap your arms like a bird and buzz like a bee. Act like a monkey, climbing up a tree. Run like a cheetah and roar like a lion. Roar! Make a pterodactyl noise and act like you're flying. Hi guys, I'm Teacher Gabby and today I'm here with my friend Elliot and with my friend Jude. And we're gonna have so much fun worshiping today. All right kids, now we're gonna enter into our time of worship. So we're gonna start with Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me when I'm good, when I do the things I should. Jesus loves me when I'm bad, even though it makes him sad. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Awesome job, kids. Okay, our next song we're going to do is to read your Bible and pray every day. So everyone needs to get ready with me to grow, grow, grow. So we start down here. Get ready with your Bibles. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and we'll grow, grow, grow. And we'll grow, grow, grow. And we'll grow, grow, grow. Now we get to the sad part. Don't read your Bible, forget to pray, forget to pray, forget to pray. Don't read your Bible, forget to pray, and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. But we get to grow one more time. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and we'll grow, grow, grow. Yay, awesome job, everybody. Okay, and for our last song, we're going to sing that Jesus loves all the little children, okay? Everybody get ready. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. And then we do it one more time, okay? Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Thank you, Teacher Gabby, for that wonderful worship. Today, boys and girls, we have a lesson about Jesus that comes from the Bible. 
last week, you all should know what last week was. It was Easter. Jesus died and Easter was the day when he rose from the dead. He had been buried for three days and then he was alive again. Well, today's lesson, we have a story about what happened after Jesus rose from the dead. Well, Jesus, he rose and he wasn't alive for just one extra day, no. He was alive for 40 more days on the earth. He walked and he saw lots of other people and he talked to them, he ate with them, they even got to touch him, feel the holes in his hand and put their hand in his side where the spear pierced him. Jesus did this because he wanted them to know that he was alive. He wanted them to know that God loved them and wanted to be a part of his family. And Jesus loves you too and wants you to be a part of his family. Well, after Jesus spent time with them, he told his disciples that he would have to go back to heaven. And the disciples were afraid. They asked Jesus, are you gonna leave us all alone here? Jesus told them, no, I'm not leaving you alone. When I leave, I'm going to be with my father and I'm going to prepare a place for all of you. But instead he left with them. He told them he's gonna leave them with something, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes into each and every one of us whenever we accept Jesus as our savior. And Jesus, after telling his disciples this, rose up into the clouds and was gone. His disciples just looked up and stared because they thought he was gonna come back, but he didn't. But he left them with this message that one day Jesus is going to return and he's going to take all of us with him that believe in him. So Jesus though is perfect and he can't be with people that aren't also perfect. Because all of us are born in something called sin, that means that anything we think, say, do, or don't do that breaks God's law or makes him sad. So if you push your little brother or don't clean up your toys like mommy and daddy told you to, that's sin. And God doesn't like it when we sin. But because Jesus came and he died for us, we all get a chance one day to go to heaven and live with Jesus. And heaven is a beautiful place, like in this picture, where everything is beautiful and we get to spend forever with Jesus and God because God loved us so much that he didn't want to leave us there. Heaven is supposed to be a place where no one gets hurt, where we're no longer hungry or sad and we don't want to do mean things to each other. Heaven sounds absolutely amazing and I can't wait one day to get there. So take a moment though right now and close your eyes and think of all of the good things in the world right now. Think of all the things that you love and all the people that you love. Think right now, think really hard. Do you see it? Even that, the happiest thing that you can think of is nowhere near as good as what heaven is gonna be like someday for all of us. And guess what? Jesus is waiting for us. He has a book with all of our names in it, of all of his children. Those are the people that have accepted Jesus into their lives. And those people are going to spend forever in heaven with Jesus. I don't know about you, but I wanna spend forever with Jesus. And I think everybody should want to spend forever with Jesus. So if you haven't accepted Jesus into your heart to be your daddy forever, you should really take a moment and talk to your mommies and daddies about how you can do that because Jesus loves you so much and wants you to be a part of his forever family. So let's pray right now. And if you guys want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can talk to your mommies or daddies about how to do that. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for loving us so much that you sent your son Jesus to die for us, but he didn't stay dead. He rose again and now he's preparing a place for us in heaven. Thank you so much for having him do that and for heaven being such a wonderful promise for us. Please help us all to not sin 
and help us to be able to one day spend forever with you. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody said as loud as they could, Amen! Thank you, guys. Hi, boys and girls. Teacher Gina here. And today, you just finished learning about how Jesus went up to heaven. But that doesn't mean he left us alone because he left us with the Holy Spirit that can be in our heart. And you know what's interesting? Both heaven and Holy Spirit start with the letter H. So I thought it'd be fun to make something that looks like, a, like the letter H out of stuff you may have around the house. Now make sure you always ask mom and dad for help, okay? So here's some ideas of the things you should gather. So you'll need some glue. I found some pretty buttons, but they don't have to be all pretty and nice. They could just be any old buttons. Um, there's popcorn and some beans. And then for paper, you can use any old paper. Maybe you have a brown paper bag somewhere that you could just cut up, your mom or dad can cut up. Or you can take a piece of paper from um, your printer at home, but always ask mom and dad. Or maybe you have some um, construction paper. So that's what I'm gonna use today to show you what I did to create something that's gonna remind me of heaven because they all start with the letter H. Now the letter H is one of the easiest ones to make. Basically, it's three straight lines. So we can go like this. Ask mom and dad again if you need help. You do one stick, then you do another stick, then you do one that joins the two together, and that's the letter H. H is for heaven and H is for Holy Spirit. Then ask your mom or dad, or maybe you have an older brother or sister to help you with the glue. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a lot of glue, so it's really fun. You're gonna make a thick, thick line of glue. Now, I think that glue stick might work just as well, but if you don't have that, then this glue will do. So when you make the letter H, it's right there. I'm gonna use cotton balls, because I had some cotton balls left over, and it's gonna remind me of heaven, where Jesus went after he rose again. And then you take little cotton balls, and you just kinda put them around like this, and they'll stick really, really well. So I'm going kind of fast, but you take your time. And look at that, I make one big H. So that looks like heaven and the Holy Spirit. Here's some that I made earlier. There's the one on the paper plate. Um, here's one that I just made with um, just a piece of regular piece of paper with beans. There they are. And then I had some popcorn kernels and this is just regular notebook paper. Then you can go ahead and you can put it up on your refrigerator. And every time you see the letter H, you'll remember today's lesson about Jesus going up to heaven and then the Holy Spirit living in your heart. So you're never alone. Thank you guys so much for watching. We miss you guys so much. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye everybody.